Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fixer Med. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing a nifty new add-on called Anki Restart, which allows you to restart your Anki software through the click of one button. This is a new add-on that was developed by Mr. Shige Yuki. So thank you so much for developing this cool add-on for us. So before we get started, I do have to give one warning. Uh, the code isn't signed properly yet. So if you're on Windows, the add-on might be detected as a Trojan virus, but I reviewed other users who have downloaded the add-on and some of them are getting the warning and some of them aren't. So it might be a case-by-case -case basis for Windows computers, but be assured it is not a Trojan virus. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it and show you guys how it works. So go ahead and get the download code from either the add-on code link here or from the download section as I usually like downloading it. Go ahead, copy this number, open up your Anki software, go to tools, add-ons, get add-ons, and paste the code in and hit okay. Excellent, restart your system. By system, I mean just software, so don't actually restart your whole computer there. Go ahead, open it back up. As you can see, I now have this sync button here, the restart button. If I hit that, it's gonna make a sound and it's gonna restart back up. So instead of going through the whole close app process and everything and if all the extensions and updates being downloaded, I can just hit this button and it's good to go. It's a really cool software. I like the sound effect, but if you wanna edit the sound or edit the settings, you can just go to Anki Restart. You can go to Anki Restart Settings. You can take the sound effect off and you can take the error animation off if you want. And hit Restart. And the sound effect is gone. Go back to settings. I personally like the sound, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the animation. The animation usually only occurs when like the add-on doesn't work for some reason, so it's a cool Among Us add-on feature, so. And then we have the restart shortcut, which is Control-Shift-R. But on the Mac, I've tried it. It is actually Command-Shift-R. So just keep that in mind if you're on Mac. On Windows, Control Shift R, Mac, Command Shift R. And you should even be able to map this to a controller if you're using Kantan key. If you use um, a custom action, you should be able to map that out. And I'll probably go into more detail on that in another video if you guys want me to. But for now, that's all I have for this video. It's a nice nifty add-on, makes life a lot easier if you change your settings. If I change my FSRS settings, to whatever, like let's say 96 instead of 97, save it. I can just restart it. Get back to my reviews in less than five seconds. Very cool, nice nifty add-on. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this add-on, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like or even consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really means a lot to the growth of the channel, so would really appreciate that. But that's all I have for this video. This is Fixer Med signing off. Goodbye and good luck studying, everyone.